Professional athletes are put into a pretty unique position in life, typically going from everyday life into instantly making millions of dollars a year. So when a young adult gets thrown millions of dollars when they've never really had money before, it can result in some pretty ridiculous purchases. The NFL has seen a lot of this, especially within recent years as contracts keep paying more and more. Unfortunately, we've seen that even if a player gets a huge contract, their outlandish spending habits can bankrupt them. Before we get into everything, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. With that being said, here are some of the dumbest purchases NFL players have ever made. Vince Young's career was shorter than most would have expected at the time, but even so, Young earned $26 million in his career, what should be enough to support someone for the rest of their life. However, Young's money lasted just about as long as his career, as three years removed from the league, Young was bankrupt and in millions of dollars of debt. Young's spending habits were through the roof, especially with meals. It's alleged that at one point, Young was spending $5,000 a week at the Cheesecake Factory. That's right, $5,000 a week just at the Cheesecake Factory. However, Young's brand loyalty to the chain restaurant doesn't even take the cake on his worst purchases. As once, Young bought out an entire Southwest airline flight just so he could fly alone. At around 120 seats, Young had to have spent tens of thousands of dollars on one flight for himself. Apparently, first class wasn't private enough for him. Unlike Young, Terrell Owens was able to create a successful career and made around $80 million in the process. Nearing the end of his career, Owens actually had the foresight to invest for his retirement. In doing so, Owens invested $2 million into the largest casino in Alabama, which consisted of 1,700 electronic bingo machines. Unfortunately for Owens, the NFL has rules in place prohibiting its players to investing in gambling institutions. Even worse for Owens, the form of electronic bingo in the casino was potentially illegal in the state of Alabama, leading to the raid and seizure of the casino hall. In two weeks, Owens was able to make a $2 million investment in bingo disappear. It's not uncommon for star players to buy their teammates expensive Christmas gifts, and Adrian Foster continued the trend when he bought the offensive and defensive line Segways for Christmas. Foster said his teammates kept getting on him about owning the Segway, but he saw that they were just jealous, so he thought they would make great Christmas presents. The bizarre Christmas gifts racked up to be around $70,000 just for Segways. However, Foster overlooked one thing. The Segways he bought for his teammates had a weight limit of 270 pounds, and none of the linemen weighed less than 300 pounds. Darnell Dockett's purchases haven't come without controversy as he loaded up on some exotic pets. Back in 2011, Dockett bought a large alligator naming him Nino and then went on to buy another one in 2013 naming her Honey. Dockett walked a line of federal and state wildlife regulations buying his baby tiger little buddy as well. Dockett planned to bring little buddy around training camp into games. Dockett's obsession with exotic pets even led him to try and purchase a monkey for 30 grand. Like his pet tiger, Dockett couldn't wait to show his monkey off, saying, Could you picture that on game days? I'm coming to the game. I have my monkey with me. He has my jersey on. If it weren't for wildlife regulations, who knows how many exotic animals Dockett would have had roaming around. Sam Hurd's high roller spending habits landed him in hot water as he was arrested in 2011 for attempting to buy and sell crazy amounts of cocaine and marijuana. Apparently being a receiver for the Bears and Cowboys wasn't enough money for Hurd as he was breaking into the drug game. According to a federal complaint outside of a Chicago steakhouse, Hurd attempted to buy 5 to 10 kilos of cocaine and 1,000 pounds of marijuana to flip per week. Unfortunately for Hurd, he was attempting to buy these copious amounts of drugs from a federal agent. Needless to say, Hurd's drug kingpin business didn't work out as he was sentenced to 15 years in prison. Antonio Brown is no stranger to big spending. The top tier receiver has showed his love for expensive cars, even buying a custom painted Rolls Royce. Brown also spent $6.6 million for a 12-bedroom house with his hefty paychecks. 
However, those are all expected purchases from a highly paid star athlete. Brown's questionable purchase came when he bought his nine-year-old son a Rolex watch. Brown was apparently treating his son to the finer things in life and posted a picture of his son wearing the watch, captioning it, ABJ just got that freshy Rolex at the age of nine. Time valuable, son. Four more coming. Chad Ochocinco Johnson made plenty of money in his illustrious career with the Bengals. Johnson, too, bought a large tiger that he kept caged in his backyard. Big Cat's huge appetites and needs racked up thousands of dollars in costs just to keep in his backyard. However, Johnson's strangest purchase has to be the giant custom semi truck that he bought for personal use. The all black and Ocho Cinco embroidered vehicle cost Johnson roughly $100,000. Johnson reportedly bought the truck for his own birthday and had it decked out with a pickup style bed in the back, large lights around the vehicle, and roof mounted air horns. While all the custom work on the truck explains why it was so expensive, it still doesn't explain why someone would want a semi truck for personal use. Andre Risen's financial issues were well documented, especially after appearing on the ESPN documentary, Broke. While Risen's career was a success story, the result of it also became his downfall as he blew through the majority of his paychecks quicker than most people could even imagine. Through the ESPN documentary, Risen claimed that he spent over a million dollars just on jewelry throughout his NFL career. What makes this even more shocking is that at one point, Risen was making $2.8 million a year, meaning that over one-third of a year of his salary was spent on just jewelry. Risen's crazy spending habits and unpaid child support caught up to him when he had to declare for bankruptcy in 2007. Now, Risen's net worth is estimated at $150,000, a fraction of what he spent on jewelry. Michael Vick is well known for his questionable decision making and earning over $100 million in his career certainly fueled some of that decision making. Before his stint in prison, Vick was hemorrhaging money, buying expensive cars, boats, jewelry, and even six Paso Fino horses. That horse has got to be expensive if I don't even know how to pronounce it. One of Vic's crazier purchases was an $85,000 fish pond that he built on one of his residences. Along with the wild initial price, it was over 50 grand in additional landscape fees for just the pond alone. Warren Sapp was one of the greatest defensive players in NFL history, and during his reign, he was paid well for it. However, even though Sapp made over $75 million throughout his NFL career, it didn't stop him from blowing all of it with his expensive taste. Sapp's ridiculous purchases came in the form of decking out his $4.1 million mansion. A few of his crazy in-home purchases include a $1,200 lion skin rug, 240 pairs of Jordans, a large painting of a nude woman, and a huge custom slide for his indoor swimming pool. When Sapp filed for bankruptcy in 2012, his $6.45 million in assets weren't even enough to cover the debt he created for himself. You'd be wrong if you thought that Chad Johnson was the only player to buy a ridiculous vehicle. Back in 2007, Chris McAllister spent his first paycheck on a ridiculous custom truck. The vehicle was nearly the size of a monster truck and sported a satellite television receiver on the roof for his built-in TV on the inside of the truck. McAllister's King Kong license plate really seemed to capture the essence of the giant vehicle. It's no secret that NFL players have had trouble holding on to their money. Earning millions of dollars nearly instantly is always going to lead to expensive cars, accessories, and general lifestyle, but some purchases just leave the rest of us scratching our heads. Whether it's exotic animals, decked out trucks, or ridiculous investments, NFL players host some of the dumbest purchases out there. Hey, if you like this video, make sure and hit that like button and subscribe below and let us know in the comments what would you do with your first NFL paycheck. Fans, thanks a bunch for watching. Until next time, have an awesome day.